Yo, what is that huge dental calculus? What's up, everyone? My name is Dr. Mo, and I'm a dentist. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the key differences between something called as teeth tartar and teeth plaque or dental tartar and dental plaque. This is important because a lot of you are interested in home remedies for uh, such things. And in this video, I'm going to also talk about some home remedies, what can be done at home to not only prevent, but perhaps uh, contribute to and help in cleaning the plaque and dental tartar. It's important to differentiate between them because one of them requires professional uh, cleaning and one of them can, to a large extent, uh, be managed through easy means, relatively easy means at home. So what is the real difference between dental plaque and uh, dental calculus? I'm going to be addressing this uh, in this video. Many people confuse them, but knowing the difference is key to a healthy uh, smile. To help break it down in simple terms, this is intended for patients. There will not be, or I'll try to avoid any complicated language. I stick around till the end because you, you will never look at your daily, daily oral hygiene the same way again. So what is a uh, dental plaque? So dental plaque is uh, this soft uh, layer uh, that uh, of a sticky film that constantly form on teeth, especially after uh, consuming a meal, you have these food remnants that layer film forms uh, on the uh, teeth and it's basically made up of food particles, saliva and bacteria. Uh, it may be to a large degree and uh, not that much visible at first, but as it accumulates and becomes uh, bigger, it can be more uh, visible. So you can feel it, it's a fuzzy coating on uh, the teeth, the daily plaque removal, this is the home remedies that I'm talking about in the home management uh, for um, dental plaque, which largely contributes to gum disease, right? Uh, it could be through simple means really like uh, brushing the teeth, using a floss, using a water floss, okay? And I'll put some useful links down in the uh, description below, okay? Let's get to dental calculus. So what is exactly dental tartar or dental calculus that uh, you hear about and uh, you watch on these videos? So dental calculus and tartar is what happens when the dental plaque hardens over time. So minerals contribute to that dental plaque over time and becomes uh, harder and even more sticky. So this hardened built up sticks strongly to the teeth, as I said, and cannot be brushed away at home. Fortunately, typically requires a professional uh, cleaning. Okay, so it usually appears yellowish or brownish, really bad for the aesthetics and the appearance of uh, the teeth. Does, as I said, require a professional teeth cleaning to uh, remove. Uh, it's important to address key differences between a uh, plaque and a uh, calculus. So texture of the plaque is roughly soft and of course it's uh, at a certain degree sticky on the teeth. The uh, dental calculus appearance is really uh, hard and crusty. Um, hopefully I can put up some visuals uh, in the video. With regard to the ease to, of uh, removal, and in fact the capacity to remove, the dental plaque can be uh, removable with daily care. As I mentioned, the dental calculus, as I mentioned, unfortunately does require uh, a, a typically professional uh, cleaning because it's, it's extremely sticky and it's really hard on uh, the teeth. So the uh, plaque forms on a regular daily uh, basis. The uh, calculus will form uh, over a period of time as that dental plaque hardens, okay? But the problem is both can contribute to gum irritation, gum disease, and a whole plethora of periodontal problems. So that's why it's really important to address these things. Uh, down plaque really forms on a regular basis. Uh, almost after someone has a, a, a meal, they just ate and normal <laughs> human beings, they eat and will eat. So a layer of down plaque will form. Uh, now why plaque matters okay so plaque is a starting point of, a, of bigger dental problems and especially in particular periodontal problems but not only this there's something called as periodontal sometimes a 
in a general or oral problem starts as a periodontal problem and then it can extend into the actual tooth because they're connected your tooth is connected with the periodontal structures around it so a periodontal problem can becomes also an endo or a tooth uh, uh, problem so we call that like a, a, a period endo uh, uh, lesion okay so it's problem both with the periodontal structures and now the tooth as well um so this is also, by the way, not that easy to manage. Uh, if left and treated, it can lead to a tartar buildup. As I mentioned, uh, the plaque buildup can affect both uh, the teeth and the gums. Um, uh, as we uh, do the, our best measures uh, through uh, daily oral care routine, dietary measures to help keep that plaque uh, under control, uh, that constitutes as really important foundation for uh, dental and oral care. And it's done through very simple means uh, that I talked about, okay? Um, I'll tell you also at the end some tips with regard to the uh, toothbrush. Um, so why dental calculus? Uh, dental calculus matter because once the plaque turns into calculus becomes much harder to, to deal with <laughs> and uh, ironically much harder also as a structure uh so the tartar built up built up makes the teeth look uh, stained and dropped as i said really bad for the aesthetic and so does the uh dental plaque also uh really affect the aesthetic and the appearance of the teeth and your smile uh, it contributes to the formation of uh, pockets i mean uh, gum buck Pockets are really problem. Periodontal uh, pockets uh, needs uh, attention. They can progress into uh, further issues down the line. Okay, and once these periodontal pockets form, it, it also unfortunately accounts like as a pocket in which the dental uh, plaque can even accumulate more. So it's just like you can see how this snowballs. Uh, so increase the risk of uh, gum issues if not addressed with professional uh, teeth uh, cleaning. Okay, very important. So. How exactly dental plaque turns into uh, dental calculus, okay? So the plaque, if it's that is not removed or if not removed, it mineralizes over time, okay? Through mineral spots into that dental plaque. The minerals from saliva harden the soft uh, uh, plaque. So the dental plaque itself in general is softer compared with the uh, dental calculus. So this usually happens around the gum line or uh, behind the uh, front teeth. So uh, is if you look at the dental calculus and the dental plaque, it commonly okay forms uh, along the uh, gum line around the teeth. Okay, so that's why consistent oral hygiene is so important. With what about prevention, right? Why do we always uh, think about waiting for a solution or treatment after the fact that the problem happens? Well, why don't we try to prevent it in the first place? And actually, we can't. Okay, we can't at least try to. Uh, prevention controlling plaque daily so brushing uh, thoroughly uh, twice a day with the toothpaste um, uh, floss uh, using inner dental cleaners inter dental cleaners are simply a means of cleaning in between the teeth okay interdental uh, cleaners uh, you can check them out later or maybe i'll link some stuff in the description box uh, for how to reach drop so using a quality toothbrush manual or electric uh, also i made a video about an electric toothbrush uh, that was relatively budget friendly if you want you can uh, check out that video on uh, my channel so rinse with water after meals to uh, reduce build up again i'm talking about rinsing with uh, water and not directly brushing uh, it's a good idea to wait for about 30 minutes after consuming a meal, okay? Uh, prevention, keeping the calculus away. So what that daughter really forms, uh, it really requires professional cleaning. When we say professional cleaning, so by a dentist or a hygienist uh, to remove it, of course, a periodontist, also a person who's, who goes through specialized training uh, for this uh, as well. Um, so regular checkups are essential for uh, long-term gum disease prevention. Uh, it's very important to uh, check with the uh, uh, dentist uh, regularly, make sure everything's okay. We, there are certain measurements for the gums and periodontal health that we can do as well. Uh, so professional cleaning helps uh, reset your oral uh, hygiene and uh, prevention is easier and cheaper than removal. To be fully honest with you, that is true because we all know how expensive uh, dental treatments can get. So what about everyday tips for a healthy smile? 
uh, stay consistent with the oral hygiene routines. It's important to maintain excellent uh, oral hygiene through at least the means that you can uh, afford and do uh, at home as well as with the regular checkups uh, with the dentist. Okay, as I said, diet is, is really important. Um, things like sugary snacks, carbohydrates, all can contribute to the formation uh, of that dental plaque. So choose balanced meals. I try to avoid really uh, sugary snacks. Also, sugar snacks have their consequences in relation to teeth and cavities. Uh, which is not the topic for today, but it's important to note. Um, so stay hydrated. Uh, hydration is important. The saliva does help uh, to naturally protect the teeth. All, and the minerals that it has is also helpful for something called as remineralization and protection of the teeth and also making the teeth stronger against things like uh, cavities and so forth. So small daily habits equal a healthy smile. Uh, just to recap real quick, so we have black, soft, sticky, removable uh, daily, and uh, I just want to note, so sometimes the dental plaque can be also really uh, st sticky if it has been there for uh, some long period of time as well, so just to be clear, so not all dental plaque is uh, that easy to uh, remove. Dental calculus is more hard, stubborn, and requires professional cleaning. Uh, both impact oral health, and especially in particular gum health and periodontal health, uh, if ignored. So good daily habits and regular dental visits, as I mentioned, best combo for prevention. Uh, so thank you everyone for uh, watching. If you found this breakdown really helpful, I would appreciate liking on the video. It's at zero cost to you. Check out the uh, playlist in the description box. Subscribe, turn the notification bell on.